Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take an updated look at some of the issues causing the your browser is managed by your organization in Google Chrome. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a new refreshed look at the uh, problems around the your browser is managed by your organization issue, which a lot of people have found in Google Chrome. Now, this is a slightly worrying thing for some people. It does potentially point to the problem of malware or some kind of spyware or something infiltrating your system. It's generally not a good thing. But having said that, after a little bit of time and actually seeing a few other companies come forward with information, it does appear that some antivirus software and some other software in general can actually trigger this by using the QUIC or HTTP3 system, which is a way of uh, software integrating with browsers and trying to take control. And in most cases, like for instance, in an antivirus software suite, it would be to maintain control of your browser to not allow any kind of nasty things to come in through the back door. So it makes it almost like a firewall for your browser. Hopefully that makes some sort of sense. It kind of does to me, whether it does to you, I'm not entirely sure, but essentially what it is, it's safeguarding your browser by putting a limitation on it, much like you would find in a larger organization. So if you're working, say, for Microsoft or IBM or one of those big players, all of your operating system and your browser would have all the settings taken care of by a centralized remote server. So you've only got limited access to certain features. But again, also this kind of environment is created by malware and spyware and all those kinds of things. So let's go over to the computer now and we'll take a quick look at the things that can happen on a Windows PC. And at the end, we'll discuss what can actually happen and how to remove it from a Macintosh PC. So let's go over to the PC. Okay, so we've opened up a Google Chrome window. Now this is a current version of Google Chrome and it is the 10th of May, 2020 currently. So obviously if uh, you're watching this a little bit further into the future, your version may be different, but essentially make sure your version is up to date and all that kind of thing. Now if we click on the three dots in this top corner and then go into settings, or even if we look towards the bottom, we've got this little tab here that says managed by your organization which to some people is uh, quite a scary thing. So what can you do to see if it is malware or whether in it, it is actually a bona fide application causing this? So you can go about it one of two ways. Now, one of which is if you've got antivirus software, go into the settings. So in this particular instance, we've got a vast free antivirus that says you are protected. So let's open up the software and go into the settings. So we go to menu, then we go into settings and then we can go into protection and core shields. And if we scroll down through this, we've got more options here. And we can go into web shield, which is our browser. And here we have it. So this is the tick box for enabling quick or HTTP3 scanning. So if we remove the checkbox here and then restart the computer, you'll find that that message will go away. So if you're an Avast user or you're using some other type of antivirus software, definitely check into your settings on the browser or just check out with them and just a quick Google search, does my antivirus support quick or HTTP3 scanning? If it comes back and says it does, then you can be pretty confident that that is why it is saying that your browser is managed by your organization. So if you're using Avast, this is a quick and easy way of removing that message if it worries you in any way. Essentially, I would say you're probably better off leaving it on uh, if you are having control by an antivirus software. Anyway, I digress. So let's close that and that is one way of doing that. So another option is if you don't have an antivirus software installed or you're just using the basic Microsoft package, then you can actually check in your systems registry to see if you do actually have some kind of virus or malware on your system. So. There's two keys you can check, and I'll put them into a notepad document, which I'll be copying and pasting into the video description a little bit later on after I finish this video. But these are the two keys we want to be looking at. So if we open up our registry editor, and what we can do is go to the H key current user, then we can go down to software, and then we can go down to policies. And if you've got any additional entries in here where it says Microsoft and Power, especially if it's one with kind of weird text or kind of Chinese writing or hieroglyphs or whatever it may be, 
basically if there's something in here which looks odd then that is possibly your problem so all you need to do is to highlight the particular uh, key hit the delete key or right click and choose delete and that should get rid of it although you really need to find out why you've actually got that in the first place so you might want to do a scan with some antivirus software that kind of thing the other key that we've got here so that is the uh, h key that is the current user but we've also got local machine so it may have been installed on the machine or it may have been installed as part of your user profile if we close that down we can go into h key local machine and again we can go into software and we can go into policies so it's uh, pretty straightforward where it is it's not particularly heavily buried so this is the uh, policies for the entire machine so our policies we've got created we've got mozilla microsoft and google so obviously that's Edge, Chrome, and Mozilla browser. Um, we can take a look in there in Chrome, but there's nothing odd going on there. Again, we would be looking in here for an additional policy name with like Chinese writing, hieroglyphs, uh, an unusual name, or maybe even something like um, Driver Finder or something along those lines. Just something that you're not really expecting to see there. So if you again, if you've got that, just to highlight it and delete it. That is a good way of doing it. Also, if you have got these extra policies in there. I would certainly suggest getting yourself a copy of Adware Cleaner. Adware Cleaner from Malware Bytes is a fantastic little uh, application. It's a very, very low footprint and you can do a quick scan. You can reset your settings after you've done it, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go through the whole process here because it's uh, pretty boring for you guys to watch. But essentially, all you do is download the EXE, click on scan now and run the software. If it comes up and says you've got problems, it will try and fix them and hopefully it will do the full job for you. I'll put links for this as well in the video description so you can check those out also. So those are things you can do if you are on a PC, so you've got your registry keys and also you do a cleanup or make sure that your software doesn't have quick or HTTP3 support, which if it does, you know you're absolutely cool, no problems at all. But moving on to Macintosh users who have been uh, feeling a little bit neglected of recent, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a Mac uh, user in general so this is slightly alien to me but i have taken on board some of the comments that people have left for the previous video and thank you all so much for that but essentially what we're looking for is if you go into the finder on your macintosh computer make sure that you've got chrome closed down not just minimize actually do close the application or the program in its entirety so it is completely closed then open up finder and then you need to search for library first of all is your first subfolder then we need to go into Managed Preferences. And then in Managed Preferences, what we need to look in there for, again, is these odd user folders. So any folder in there which doesn't look like it's one of your own, get rid of it, just highlight it, press Delete. Now obviously, for both PC and Mac users, before you make any changes in your registry or in your system in general, do make a backup. It is very important you do that. Anything you do in these videos can potentially damage your system further than it is already. So do take that in mind, make a backup, make a registry backup, whatever you want to do. You can use things like Macrium Reflect, which will easily take a snapshot of your system to make a rollback, or maybe go into System Restore on a PC. You can do it that way from Macs. You can use your time machine, that kind of thing, or time capsules, that sort of thing, to make a backup. So do make a backup before you attempt these things. But essentially, in that section for the Macintosh, in the library, uh, manage preferences, see if there's any unusual folders. If there is, you can delete those quite happily. Stick them in the recycle bin. If it does turn out to be a problem, then again, you can restore them. You also may find that due to antivirus software that does support the uh, Quick or HTTP3 system, that you might still get this message. So obviously, do look at your antivirus software. And if you've got a Mac and you're thinking, I don't need antivirus software, then you're a fool to yourself and you probably do need some antivirus software of some sort, or at least a scanner. So uh, yeah, make sure you get some antivirus software on your machines, even if it's just the free ones, free is better than having none at all. And don't be misled, these days Macs are just as well targeted as PCs, so make sure you're safe and secure. Again, we'll put some links for uh, antivirus software for both PC and Mac in the video description so you can check out the options available to you. Also, if this video has been helpful for you and you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and also consider click on the subscribe button and the chime icon so you get notified of more content like this in the future. But that pretty much wraps things up. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And today... 
Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take another look at the problems faced when it goes. Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at. Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take an updated look at some of the issues causing the your browser is managed by your organization in Google Chrome. Keep watching to find out more. And keep watching to see if I actually manage to say that properly again, at least once. 